And um, we also got to ask about Francis Sagana going to PFL. I'm just curious about your thoughts on that deal. Um, you know, based on what I know about the deal, which is not much, um, it makes no sense to me. I mean, you're going to pay a guy not to fight for a year, and it's already been like 18 months. He's fought three times in the last three years. It's just not what we do here. It's just, it's not, it's not what we do. And the day that we released him, I knew exactly what was going to happen. And uh, Francis wants to take zero risks. Doesn't want to take any chances. Um, and he obviously didn't want to take a chance against John Jones. And after we saw what happened with Cyril gone, you know, I, I don't blame him. I think the outcome would have been exactly the same. And I'm sure most of you do, and I'm sure Francis does too. Um, you know, and the media makes it sound like that I'm saying that he's afraid of him. Now, I don't think that he's afraid of anybody. It's just the fact that he doesn't want to take any risk. He wants to, you know, PFL is going to pay this guy to train for a boxing match that may not even happen and that they might not even be involved in. How, how does that make any sense? It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, Anthony Joshua called it a gimmick fight this week. You know, he, he, when asked about that fight, he's like, I'm focused on fighting the best guys in the world. You know, I'm not interested in the gimmick fight right now. And that's one of the big problems with boxing right now is it's, it's all about these gimmicky type fights. And that's just not what I do here. It's not what I do. I, I put on fights with the best fighters in the world and, 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 and fights that people want to see. Francis could have done a, a deal here. Hunter threw the kitchen sink at that guy. You know, Hunter went to more dinners with Francis and Ganyu and, and, and did everything in his power to try to get this fight done. And, you know, Francis just thinks like, that he's in a position where he's got some Conor McGregor Mayweather fight on his hands, which he does not. That, that, that fight was like a once in a lifetime type deal. Fight that I wasn't very interested in. Um, and, uh, but, but at the end of the day, it became so big the right guys, the right time, the right place. The fans wanted it, so, so we did it, and we got it done. Um, MMA guys versus boxers doesn't make any sense to me, um, but I know that he thinks there's, there's all this money in it. I disagree. I, I don't think there is, and, and, and I have no beef with the PFL. I mean, these guys have always been um, super professional and um, you know, never talked any smack. You know me. If I don't like you, whether it's De La Hoya or another, uh, you know, uh, organization out there, whatever it is, you know, I, I don't hold back. I'll let you have it. But, um, you know, what they're doing makes no sense to me, Th their business strategy. I'm hearing that they're uh, raising money right now, you know, 280 million, 300 million. I don't know what the number is from the Middle East. And I've done a lot of business in the Middle East. Those guys are sharp and they know what to do. I don't know who in the hell would give them $280 million because I'm hearing they're buying Bellator, right? So you're an organization that's burning cash, have no ratings and selling no tickets, and you're gonna raise $280 million to buy a company that's burning cash, sells no tickets and does no ratings. It sounds fucking absolutely genius to me. Um, and I don't know. Uh, I know how this story ends. I, I, I get what Francis is doing. I wish the PFL all the luck in the world. I wish him all the luck in the world. It, it's just not what we do here. Um, you know, right now when you think about it, he's going to this company. I don't know what they're paying him or what's going on or any of that stuff. He, he's not even fighting their champions. You know what I mean? He, he wants to box. He signs with this company, and he's not even willing to fight their champions right now. He's fought three times in the last three years, and he's, it's been like 18 months since he's fought, and from what I'm hearing, he's not going to fight for another year. All the stuff that's being talked about, it's all bullshit by the media. The media is creating all this bullshit. It's, it's just, it's like, I, I had to hit, listen to this fucking... Robin Black, who looks like he came out of a fucking 1997 fucking time warp, 
talking shit. If anybody needs a makeover, somebody please help that dude. Get him. What's that show on TV? Major makeover or whatever the fuck it is. Somebody sign Robin Black up for that thing. This guy's out there talking all this shit about, um, you know, oh, we're, we're just all about marketing, not the best fighters in the world, and all, all this really stupid shit. So a lot of this stuff's just coming from the media. Um, but when you think about Francis, Francis, you know, uh, their last champion, or maybe it was his current champion, lost to Tibera, right? And then the champion now, I think, lost to Yuri Prohaska in the first round, who isn't even a heavyweight. Francis doesn't want to fight these two guys now. A am I the only one that, that, that this whole thing is just a bunch of bullshit? So... That's my two cents.